Hello everybody, my name is Guang Wei. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will introduce you the predecessor of the modern trombone in 5 minutes. Although, many names have been given to the Renaissance trombone. The most well-known one is Sackbutt. Sackbutt comes from the combination of the French word sacky and poti. In English, it means pull push. So essentially, sackbutt is called pull push. The sackbutts were made in at least four sizes. The alto, tenor, bass, and great bass. It probably evolved as a lower pitched version of the Renaissance slide trumpet, which first appeared at the ducal court of Burgundy in the 15th century. The tenor sackbutt is the most useful size, and it is this instrument which has ultimately evolved into the modern trombone. Its earliest ensemble use seems to have been as a regular member of the Sham band. In the early 17th century, the sackbutt was considered an instrument of the virtuoso performer. The sackbutts were made in smaller bore. The sound was naturally a little softer and more mellow than the modern trombone because its bell was less flared. It was constructed in three main sections, the slide, the mouthpiece, and the bell. The slide has two parallel and stationary inner tubes attached by a crossbar and covered by a U-shaped movable outer tube. The mouthpiece was inserted into one end of the slide joint and the bell joint was inserted into the other. Since human arm couldn't reach the longest position on both the base and the great base sackbutts, they have an additional handle as an attachment to the slide in order to extend the reach. Now, you may be curious of how the sackbutt actually sound like, right? Don't worry. I was fortunate to have my friend Jiahua willing to share his sackbutt recording and Noah for his bass trombone recording to this project. Big thanks to them. So, instead of me trying to describe it by words, I made a side-by-side -side comparison among the standard trio, alto, tenor, and bass. Enjoy! Since the alto sackbutt and the alto trombone are in the key of E-flat, I will first compare the E-flat long tone and then the E-flat major scale. Now, I will show the comparison between the tenor sackbutt and the tenor trombone. First, I will show the B-flat long tone, and then the B-flat major scale.
last but not least, bass sackbut and bass trombone. First, long tone comparison on the note F, and then the scale comparison on F major. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you understand the sackbuds a little bit better. If so, please subscribe and I will see you very soon.